birthday cake. Hey, I'm gonna cook some birthday cake. Ooh, do you want to do some? You want to do some? What you doing, Till? You're in the middle of the shot. Tilly, what you doing? Bandit boy. Okay, what are we doing, Sam? Hi, everyone. Well, today we've got two birthday parties. We've got Bailey the Beagle, and we've also got Millie the Wheaton Terrier. Uh, so I am um, making two birthday cakes. I might just hand the knife over to Uncle Luke. <laughs> and as you can see, I've got two helpers here today, Bandit the Boxer and Tilly the Red Healer. Bandit, Bandit. <laughs> it's gonna be very difficult with Bandit helping. So, first up, we've got two tins. We, we're, we're using these um, bone-shaped tins now that, that Luke found um, on the internet, which are awesome, because I used to have to mold the bone shapes myself every day, which took a lot of work. So these are awesome. Um, we do need to grease them and they're not greased and I didn't bring out the butter. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got an outtake. <laughs> so we might just take two. <laughs> Cut on that. Just can you watch? Take two, we magically got some. <laughs> some olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> so we just use a little bit of olive oil. Mush it around, just greasing up the, the tray. And what what stage does this help with? Oh, right at the end, getting it out. As you can see, it's a difficult shape to to get the cake out of, so it's really important to to grease these ones. Just pop a little bit more because we've got two parties today. Oh, hello, Bandit. Bandit's putting a bit of his own juices in there. <laughs> Bandit, come on, mate. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hard. <laughs> oh, what a good idea. Okay, so for each of these cakes, we use a kilo of chicken mince. Bandit. <laughs> come on, buddy. Oh, who was that? Oh, that was cutie pie. So we just press this into the, the cake mold, which makes it really, really easy. So you can use any kind of mince. We're using chicken today for Millie and Bailey. That's what they've chosen. But we also use lamb and beef um, and even turkey mince. So whatever is your dog's favorite choice of meat. A lot of the dogs here really love the chicken mince though and um, it smells delicious in the oven. So a lot of humans are pretty keen on the chicken one too. Yep. Put cute pie attacking my feet. Good boy, Odie. Probably have to fast forward this bit. <laughs> so as you'll notice, it, it is just one ingredient. It's just chicken mince. We don't add anything else. Um, in the very, very beginning, four years ago, I used to add other things, um, like more of a normal cake, you know, flour and, you know, eggs and things like that. Um, but over the years realize that you actually don't need to put any of those things in it. And the dogs love it um, much more just being pure meat. Okay, so they're ready to put in the oven. Um, we bake them for about uh, 45 minutes to an hour at about 160 degrees uh, Celsius uh, on, a, on a fan heat. So I'm not sure what the conversion is for Fahrenheit, but um, that's what it is in Australia. And
and um, so they're ready. And now we just have to chop up the pumpkin for the frosting. So we usually use half a butternut pumpkin for each cake. So today we need a whole one, and um, I need need that knife. Thank you. Should we put this away? Do you reckon? The chicken. We can go put it in the oven if you want. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll go put it in the oven. We'll... Okay. I'm going to just do a... What? Uh, what are you doing? I'll just quickly say, you know, we'll chop... We'll You're still recording? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so professional. <laughs> so we just chop up the pumpkin, um, peel the skin off, get all the seeds out, and... Um, you can either boil it on the stove or put it in the microwave for about 25, 20 minutes. And that's, that's all it is. And then we mash it up. Um, it's just one ingredient again. It's just the pumpkin. Um, and I think that's it. And then yeah. we'll come back and show you how to frost the cakes. Cool. That's it. golden brown I'm here on the bench and now that they're cool just gonna carefully and see how easily that pops out turn them over and this one And then they're ready to be frosted. So the pumpkin is cooked and I'm just mashing it up into a bit of a, a mash puree so it's easy to ice the cakes with. And they're done.